Okay guys, this quick tutorial is going to explain how do you check an estimated amount to see if it is correct. So here's what we're talking about. First of all, we're working with word problems. So I'm going to work with this first word problem right here. Tom went to the store and bought a sandwich for $7.29. He said he spent about $8. Was he correct? Why? All right, so the first thing that I notice in this question is he spent $7.29. He said he spent about $8. I have to answer whether he was correct, and then I have to tell why. Well, because it says about right here, I know that they are rounding. So Tom took his amount, $7.29, and he said that that rounds to $8. So I have to figure out, was that correct? Well. In my head, I can see that he went from 7 to 8, so he's rounding to the nearest dollar. So I ask myself, 7.29, that's between $7 and $8 on a number line. I know halfway between 7 and 8 is $7.50. Since he had 29, he has less than 50, which means $7.29 rounds to seven dollars. So, turns out Tom was incorrect. It's time for me now to answer the question, was he correct and why? No, Tom was not correct. Because seven dollars and twenty-nine cents rounds to seven dollars. And that's how you would answer a question like that. Now let's look down here at the Lisa example. This one's a little bit different. Lisa bought a book for eleven dollars and forty nine cents. She also bought a movie for fourteen dollars and sixty three cents. She said she spent about thirty dollars. Was she correct? Why? So the first thing I notice is that she bought two things. And the total of these two things, she estimated to be $30. So my first step is going to be to add those two things together to find out how much she spent. So I take my two totals, I'm going to add them up. 9 and 3 is 12. 6 and 4 is 10 and 1 is 11. 4 plus 1 plus 1 is 6 down my decimal, and 1 and 1 is 2. So she spent $26.12. Now she said that this rounds to $30. So I can tell, because the answer is 30, that she's rounding to the nearest 10. So $26.12. On my number line, what two tens is 26 between? Well, it's between 20 and 30. And I know halfway between 20 and 30 is 25. So, since she has 2612, that's past 25, 2612 rounds to 30. So she was correct. Here's how I would answer. Yes, she was correct because... $26.12 rounds to $30. And that's how you would answer a question like that. So just to review, up at the top, this was a one-step kind of question because Tom had only bought one thing. We just had to decide whether the amount rounded was correct. At the bottom, this was one more step because Lisa had bought two things. So we first had to do an addition problem to find her total, then decide if the rounded amount was correct.